What is going on folks? I'm Des with Desfit and this is the new 2018 Wahoo Kicker. So this is going to be the fourth generation kicker, which its highlight feature is that it's supposed to be virtually silent, but it also sports a new 16 pound flywheel that's supposed to exactly recreate the inertia that you can experience with outdoor riding. So today we're going to unbox it, we're going to set it up, we're going to take it for a first ride, and we're also going to compare it to last year's 2017 kicker as well as the Elite Doretto in terms of how loud they all are. But before we unbox it, just for a quick rundown of the specs, the whole unit weighs 47 pounds. It's going to fit a variety of wheel sizes from 24 to 29 inches. It's going to be compatible with a host of different axle configuration. It is going to be disc brake compatible. It's going to have dual Ant Plus and Bluetooth connectivity and a maximum resistance of 2200 watts and a 20% grade versus the 1800 watts and the 16% grade of the Kicker Core. So let's go ahead and unbox it and take it for a spin. So the kicker comes packed really well and it comes completely assembled and don't worry, it does come with an enormous packet of silica gel. And then other than the kicker itself, you'll have the power cables, a bunch of end caps for the different axle configurations, an extra cassette spacer, the manual as well as a sticker. And then setting it up is also going to be really easy where you'll spread out each of the legs after releasing them using this little spring loaded button and then you'll level out each of the legs and then you'll adjust it to your desired wheel size and then you plug it in. It's going to be ready to go straight out of the box if you run standard quick releases and it does already come with the 11 speed 105 cassette already installed. So for this comparison, I'm not going to be doing the whole measuring decibels thing because as DC Rainmaker says, there are so many ways to screw that up. So what I did instead was use two different audio recorders. One of them placed about two feet behind the trainer and then another one I placed about 10 feet in front of the trainer. I did make sure to clean my drivetrain really well right before testing and made sure to use some fresh lube on both the chain and derailleur pulleys. And then rather than using the brand new included cassette, I used a cassette that I've been using on my trainer for quite some time now since it's matched up with my drivetrain in terms of wear. And I guess in theory that should be quieter than a mismatched drivetrain of a used chain with a brand new cassette. Okay, so now we're going to be testing the 2017 kicker. Alright, and finally we're going to have the Elite Doretto. So what's the verdict on the 2018 kicker being virtually silent? Well, I think that's very much the case other than the free hub body and the drivetrain, of course. It definitely eliminates the whining noise from the 2017 version and it's going to be much quieter than a cheaper trainer like the Elite Doretto. But the Doretto is $300 cheaper, however, and that does bring up Wahoo's other trainer that they just announced, the Kicker Core, which is the same price as the Doretto, but it's supposed to be just as quiet as the 2018 Kicker. And I did reach out to Wahoo to see if I can get a review unit, but the Core is going to give the Doretto a run for its money, especially since all of these are supposed to have plus or minus 2% accuracy. 
Anyhow, thanks so much for watching and make sure to subscribe for plenty of fitness and sports technology reviews and we will see you in the next video.